fire on his sonsy face, great chieftain of a prudent race, a boon the man you tack your place, page, tripe, or fair. Well are you body or grace as long as my heir. Great hardy trenchers, there you fell. Your hardies like a distant hell. Your pen would help to mend a mill in times of need, while through your cores the Jews distill like amber bead. His knife, with rustic labour dight, cut you up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like ony ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight, Warren, reeking, wretch. <coughs> then, horn by horn, they stretch and strive. They'll tack the hindmost on the drive, till all their wheel swalled kites alive are bent like drums. Then, all good men may like to rive. Be thank it, Hans. Is there that o'er his French ragu? Or olio that would store a sou? Or fricassee that would mark a spew with sick a sconner? Look doon with searin scorn for view on sick a dinner. Poor devil see him out his trash, as feckless as a withered brush, his spindle shank a good whip lash, his knee a net through bloody flood or field to dash. <laughs> oh, how unfit! But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, placing his wally neve a blade, he'll mark it whistle. And legs and arms and heads will sned like taps a thristle. Ye powers will mark mankind your care and dish them out the bill of fare. Our Scotland wants nae stinking fare that louts in juggies. So if ye hear her great for prayer, gee her a haggis. <laughs> <laughs>